to them has to be tailored very specifically. You need to motivate them with something else. Um, so I'm the editor-in-chief of Citizen Side. You can find us at citizenside.com. I'll tell you a little bit about how the company works. The, the distillation of the idea is we do what Wikipedia does, only we do it for breaking news instead of reference. Anybody can become a member. You submit your stuff via the Citizen Side web, uh, website, and we also have a mobile app in Android and iPhone versions, uh, and we publish all that stuff. So um, we come from here. Journalism isn't a spectator sport anymore. It's obvious stuff, right? They know way more than we do. There's so much knowledge distributed through the, the audience, the people formerly known as our audience. Our job used to be to go and find it. Um, but now they actually create more media than we do at any given news event. Um, not only that, they're actually documenting their own stories before we do. This is a picture from the uh, Brooklyn protests, uh, the Brooklyn Bridge protests, the Occupy Wall Street guys. These are pictures that were sent to us by them just after they got arrested. And look what she's wearing around her neck. She was the one who was taking pictures of all this kind of stuff. Check me out, I'm getting arrested, it's awesome. Mm -hmm. This was stuff that was sent to us. Um, we shouldn't be just spectators in this space. We work for them. And we actually work with them. That's what our position is, and that's how we make our money. We do stuff for them, we help them do stuff, we're a platform. We've got two business models. The first one is we're a press agency. It's pretty simple. They take pictures, they shoot video, we verify, we curate that stuff, we publish it on our website and we distribute it through a network of partnerships including, among others, the AFP, so thousands of potential clients. Um, and then we share the revenue with the people who uploaded it. The revenue sharing is pretty straightforward. If you take a picture, you send it to Citizen Side, we publish it in your country, you get 65% of the take. If you send us a picture, we publish it, and we publish it somewhere else, you get 50% of the take. Uh, so revenue may vary for people like uh, one of our contributors was the one who broke the John Galliano racist rant in a Paris bar story. You could make enough money to equate roughly a year's salary. That doesn't happen in all cases. Your mileage may vary. Um, basically, this is how it works, right? The user sends us video, we collate, we verify, we publish, we license that content to many hundreds and thousands of media partners, and then the revenue is shared between us. So that's how we work as a press agency. Now, the thing about this that's key is um, the, the financial rewards aren't really what motivates the users. Not all of them. And I'm sure that Turi will have something different to say here because his network is a little bit different than ours. Um, most of our users aren't motivated by the money. Most of our users are motivated by a willingness to share, a willingness to participate, a willingness to be part of a community of people who are sharing the news of what's going on around them in a serious way. Um, most of them don't want to post their newsworthy video to YouTube where it will be drowned under funny cats and Lady Gaga's latest release, but they want to do something different with it. Now, I'm not discounting for a minute the fact that we do have a hard core of pro-am users who are there because they want to get exposure for their photojournalism, and we cater to them just like any game designer needs to cater to the hardcore but play to a wide audience. However, the broad range of our network is motivated by something else an intrinsically rewarding experience. That's why we bake game design right into the heart of what we do. Motivation, feedback, trust, and loyalty are the four reasons that we bake game design right into it. We motivate our users through game design. Game design is a way that we can, uh, that we can measure trust and that we can build trust with the users. Feedback is crucial to any intrinsically rewarding experience, and through the design of our interactivity, we give them constant feedback. They're getting points, they're getting badges, they're leveling up. They feel like they're being listened to. And, of course, loyalty. Once you've built up a profile, you've built up a reputation, you've built up some sort of social capital, well, you want to keep working on that. And it's working, because we get some pretty awesome stuff uh, from all over the world, right? Including news stuff, including portraits, fashion, cultural travel stories, sports, art, anything, you name it. Our second business model, uh, and this is where it gets interesting, is we're a technology provider. So we've developed a pretty sophisticated software suite 
to manage and uh, help in the verification of all of that incoming content. So uh, we call it the back office, um, and it's a piece of software where uh, we can tell a lot about incoming, uh, incoming imagery. We can tell where it was uploaded, we can tell uh, if it has been photoshopped, we can tell if it has been uploaded to Facebook, and if so, by whom. Uh, there's a lot of other things. So basically, all the stuff that we publish to our website is verified by the team of journalists that I run. Um, but this process is greatly accelerated by the fact that we've got some powerful software that already gives us a whole bunch of stuff. Now, I saw on Twitter that uh, there was some talk about a trust rating. We actually have an algorithmically generated trust rating for every piece of, of content that we bring in, which takes into account not only the technical details of the imagery, but also our past history with the user. Again, this is where the game design comes in. We know that if we're getting imagery from somebody who's level 72, it's not the same as somebody who's level 5. Right? It's a different kind of trust. So as a technology provider, what we do is we allow people to collect content from their users. Um, it's essentially the same thing as our uh, citizenside.com model with a slight twist. Um, our software allows users to send pictures and video to whatever their favorite news brand is. Um, that news brand then publishes those images. We license the content further, asterisk, after an exclusivity period, and then we share the revenue three ways between us, the person who took the picture, and the brand who's using our software to get stuff from their users. 